Hey everybody, today I'm going to be uh, adding a new drip line to an already existing drip system. Um, this bush right here is not doing so hot and I thought I added a drip to it shortly after I put it in because I did do a bunch but apparently I forgot to do this one so it's summer heat's getting to it, it's starting to dry out a little bit. Um, I think it is getting a little bit of water from my sprinkling system, but um, I'm going to go ahead and add a drip to it so it'll see how it makes a comeback. So I've got, you can see I've got my drip stubbed out over here, and I've got the main, main line coming kind of down across and it goes across that whole area here. Um, and then I've got a quarter inch tube teeing off of that somewhere. And you can see the lines right here, and then it goes back, it's buried, and it pops out back over here, right on this, right on this little tree. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that off and add on to it. Alright, so I'm just going to take this and snip off the hose, snip off, snip that quarter inch line. This just cuts right through that. And I've actually got just an inline dripper so I can put a quarter inch hose on each end of these, a quarter inch line on each end of those. So this tree will still get watered. And just push it on and take the other end of the new hose, the new quarter inch line, slide that on like so. Got that all done, that inline dripper. And then this hose comes across right over to this bush. And I've got this little button dripper that I will drop on the end here and then water will come out of here. Alright, so you can see I added the inline dripper right at the tree. And I've got the quarter inch line with a button dripper on the end. And that hose is measured to length to reach that bush. And then I'm going to take this stake, stick that right on through there, put that where I want it, stake it down. And you can see I've got this exposed line here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull back some of that mulch, some of that dirt, and bury that line next. All right, now you can't even see that line. It's buried underneath the mulch. All right, so you can see that that dripper's Dad? spraying Dad? there. And then here's our new line that we added right over here. Let me just adjust that a little bit to get more right at the roots. There we go. And you can see that that there's dripping some water. And that bush should uh, make a nice little comeback. Now I'm going to go show you how you can connect into like a main, um, a main line here. Maybe you had a uh, landscaper install a drip system and they've dripped what you've got but you want to add bushes and run the drip to them. Um, so you can see I've got this main line here sticking out and then this is a quarter inch barb and this is the quarter inch line with a dripper at the end. Now you don't necessarily have to use these button drippers. There's all kinds of different types of nozzles and drip sprinklers that you can use. Um, and really there's no wrong no wrong way. Just make sure whatever you're adding water to is getting enough water. Um, this is so this is the barb. 
and the way to connect the barb into the main line is they have like a tool that kind of looks like a screwdriver that's a punch this is kind of like a scissor punch you just stick that around the pipe and that little that little head you see there will poke the hole for you so you stick that around the pipe like so and then you can just close that on that'll pop a hole and then you just manually take that little barb shove it right in there connect your quarter inch line just pushes on and then you'll take your your dripper or whatever nozzle sprayer you're using and slide that into the quarter inch line and you've got yourself a drip.